What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Today I have some unfortunate news to share with you. Easton Allred from Denver, he's made the first decisive bid in this race. He's really, he's really made the race happen here in the last two minutes. You keep sleeping on the couch just to prove the point. I'm too proud to tell you when I'm wrong. Arguments spinning in circles, we're fighting for days, stuck in a face. I think we're losing the reason. One word is silent, takes. I originally started making videos about three years ago because I wanted to inspire and I wanted to find a way to create and spend more of my free time doing something that would benefit me and to learn a new skill and to also help benefit those around. I wanted to share my journey as a runner and how I was able to find success and I wanted to share a lot of my failures and I've made lots of vlogs about my injuries and other things that have not gone super well for me. And I just, I wanted to find a way to create in high school. I wanted to make money. I wanted to just do something that moved me forward as a person. And after about a year or two of making videos, I was starting to make a difference and to help people. If, you, if this is the first time you've come to my channel, if you go look at some of the things I've posted, I feel like I've been able to post things that hopefully helps those who are subscribed to my channel. And as I go into college, a few of you are probably wondering what is gonna happen with my vlog. Am I going to continue making videos? And if so, what's that gonna look like? What's the deal? So I'm just gonna tell you guys what the plan is. I am planning on going to the fall semester at Brigham Young University and running so long as Corona doesn't prevent us having a season. And a big part of going to college is being able to spend your own money and make your own money. And so I've really appreciated the YouTube pays creators to make videos and you can profit off of that. However, since I am running for BYU in the fall, the NCAA prevents athletes from profiting off their own likeness, name, or image, so therefore me making YouTube videos about running prevents me from being able to monetize those videos and profit. And I could make videos about other things, however, I'd have to start a completely other channel in order to monetize that. And um, I need to be able to pay for things in college like food, entertainment, and clothes, and I don't have time to get a job and work because I will be running. So I don't necessarily agree with this rule that the NCAA has. Uh, I think that it is hurting a lot of athletes and it's not in our best interest. And I understand why they're doing it. It's to prevent athletes from becoming professional athletes and maintaining their amateur status. However, I just don't totally agree with their means of doing that and think that because athletes don't have the time to work, they should be able to make videos and profit off of um, selling their products and things like that. However, I'm not gonna put up a big fight about it and I'm just hoping that the NCAA changes the rule in January. There's a really big chance of that. But for now, I'm going to continue making videos when I want to make them and they're not gonna be super clickbaity. They may be not exactly what YouTube audiences are looking for, but they're going to be instructional videos or just really fun videos and things that I wanna post. So maybe be like, oh, like I'm going to Lake Powell with my friends, so I'm gonna post that video. Or uh, there's some topic I feel really strong about and I wanna share my opinion and, and maybe it'll help you guys in your life. Um, an example of that could be how to overcome an IT band injury or something like that. And then I'll probably at some point make a video taking you through the BYU training room and, and showing the team trips and stuff like that. But um, I think it'll still be really fun. I don't think the, the YouTube channel is gonna sacrifice a whole lot, but it will be a little bit different. But this YouTube channel is going to be more of a passion project than a means of creating a following and getting money off of this platform. And come January, if the rule changes, I'll be back to making YouTube videos how I have been, and honestly, probably, um, even more. I'll be making more videos and they'll be more strategic and trying to get more views, but for now they're going to be a little bit less consistent and they're just going to be fun things that I want to create. I'm going to create a lot less than I was previously. However, I am excited to run for BYU and it's worth the sacrifice of maybe having to put YouTube on the side a little bit, but maybe come January I'll be making merch 
and I'll be monetizing my videos and making more videos and doing courses. I have no idea, but I'm just excited to go to BYU, excited to see where things take me and hoping that Corona doesn't prevent us from being able to have a season. But I just want to thank all of you guys who have been watching the vlog for a long time or if you just recently started watching the vlog, thank you for supporting me in this journey. I really hope that I've been able to help you and you have certainly helped me and motivated me to keep making videos. So I really appreciate that. And uh, I hope you have a good one. Thanks for watching the vlog, guys.